Shimosa is but a few days away, so I hope you've all been practicing your ninjutsu. Hello everyone, Soberoni of Gene Day Reviews here, and in today's Servant Spotlight, we'll be taking a look at the servant voted most likely to win the Prisma Ilya Cosplay Contest, Assassin Paraiso. We'll be examining her stats and skills, as well as going over pointers on how to utilize her effectively, and an overall grade comparing her to how she stacks up to the other 4 star servants. Now on to Assassin stats. Assassin has a max HP of 11,637 and a max attack of 8,510, which becomes 7,659 due to her Assassin class modifier. For a 4 star Assassin, she has very high HP, the highest in fact, but she also packs the second lowest attack stat. Compared to 4 stars as a whole, she stacks up the same, above average HP, although not top tier, and abysmally low attack. Assassin Paradiso's stats overall are defensive, but very poor as her attack is comparable to some 3 stars, while her HP is not high enough to compensate for it. Taking a look at her skills, her first skill is Curse of the Shrine Maiden rank C. It has a high chance to inflict NP seal on an enemy for one turn, between 80 and 100%, depending on level. Her second skill is Curse of the Orochi rank B. It increases her arch card effectiveness for three turns, between 10 and 30%, depending on level. And it also applies Curse to your attacks for three turns, dealing 500 damage per turn. And finally, her last skill is Kogaryu, rank A. It applies Evade for one turn and increases your NP gauge between 20 and 30%, depending on level. As for her passives, she only has one, and that's Presence Concealment, rank A+, which increases her critical star drop rate by 10.5%. Moving on to her deck and Noble Phantasm, Assassin has an Arts Quick deck with Quick Quick Arts Arts Buster and an Arts Noble Phantasm. Her Noble Phantasm is Kuchiyose Ibuki Dai Myojin Engi, which deals significant damage to a single enemy with between a 900 and 1500% damage modifier depending on level. It also inflicts Skill Seal for one turn and decreases their critical hit rate for three turns between 10 and 30% depending on overcharge. Taking a closer look at her cards, we see that her quick card hits three times, her arts hits twice, her buster hits three times, and her extra attack hits four times. She has an NP gain rate of 0.8% and a star rate of 25.5%. This is average NP gain due to the high gain rate but low hits on her arts card and slightly above average star generating due to the two three hit quick cards in her deck. When it comes to servants who get the short end of the stick and are often forgotten, Assassin Paradiso may round the top of that list. Although maybe that's a good thing since ninjas love to live in the shadows. But there is a good reason for that. Her stats are pretty awful. One of the lowest attack stats among all 4 star servants, while her HP just grazes above average. Her only real standout stat is her A plus ranked Presence Concealment, which is fitting as her existence manages to elude even people who have been playing for years. But it isn't all doom and gloom for Pariso, she does actually have a good skill set. Curse gives her access to a very high chance NP seal, something that isn't common in Servants and it is stellar to have in any art stall team. She has a good self buff in Curse of Orochi, which gives her both good NP gain and good damage on her arts cards and Noble Phantasm. The cooldown is short, so it can be active for most of the battle as well. This skill also gives her normal attacks the ability to curse enemies, dealing an additional 500 damage at the end of each turn. And the cool thing about this skill is that the curse effect does stack, and it applies to all of Assassin's cards. So if you hit an enemy three times, they're going to take an additional 1500 damage at the end of every turn, rather than 500. This damage does go through defense buffs too. Finally, Assassin has Kogaryu, which is both a hard defense in the form of an evade, and a very good NP charge. Hard defense is always great to have, and the NP charge complements her NP gain buff. Skill order for Assassin is Curse of Orochi first for that much needed damage, followed by Kogaryu for the shorter cooldown on the evade and NP charge, and then your NP seal last as it is situational. Her Noble Phantasm is a single target arts attack that inflicts skill seal and decreases enemy crit rate. Skill seal is a very situational debuff and it usually doesn't come into play much, and the crit debuff rate is so minor it's not really noteworthy, 
but thankfully Assassin Paradiso has enough NP gain and charge to access this Noble Phantasm relatively quickly and easily. It isn't difficult at all to Noble Phantasm multiple times in a battle with very little setup, so at the very least her Noble Phantasm is a consistent source of damage. But unfortunately that damage isn't very strong. She lacks an NP interlude at the time of this recording, which judging by my track record means that she's going to be receiving a massive buff in about a week, so her Noble Phantasm damage is rather mediocre. And unlike most offensive servants, she also is lacking severely in the damage buff department. A 30% arts buff is nice for longer battles, but it does very little for your immediate burst damage. Which means that Assassin Paradiso is a servant who's generally built for longer fights. She spreads her damage across many turns, and while it is weak damage, she is exceedingly consistent thanks in large part to her good NP gain and short cooldown skills. This makes her a pretty good fit for some extra damage on a stall team where she can provide additional utility via her NP seal. The extra damage from her curse attacks also adds up quickly and can be notable. It's especially strong in any battles where enemies stack defense buffs, which does happen often. But all that said, don't expect her to be a game changer. Assassin Paradiso is a strange servant in that nothing in her kit is especially damning. Her skills are good, her NP gain and star gen are good, she is self-sufficient, and she can fit into most art teams. Yet even though all of this suggests that she should be a good servant, she's honestly just exceedingly mediocre. Her damage is abysmal, so she can't really make good use of her single target Noble Phantasm, and her Noble Phantasm gain, while good, is not good enough compared to most other offensive art servants. And her only real utility is an NP seal, which isn't enough to usually justify a slot in a stall team. To put it simply, she underperforms in all areas. There isn't one niche that she really excels at, and her damage is too pitiful to be considered well-rounded. So while she isn't especially bad in any one particular area, she does happen to be generally below average everywhere. This isn't to say that she can't be used effectively though, as I mentioned she can fit into most art teams and stall teams. If you do want to use Assassin Pariso, she's best utilized alongside other offensive art servants who can lend her additional buffing for a more well-balanced team, or she can be used alongside stall servants to provide just a bit more damage and utility to the fight. If you're aiming for a well-balanced arts team, I suggest pairing her with Caster Gill or Shuten. Caster Gill is an obvious choice as he can buff both Assassin and himself, and he can generate stars, greatly boosting your team's overall damage while Shuten is a fellow assassin who can also boost your damage and provide additional debuffs. But if you want to take full advantage of her curse, noble phantasm seal, and skill seal, then go for a stall team and pair her with Tamamo, Jean, or Mosh. Tamamo is excellent because she not only heals and buffs assassin's damage, but she also lowers her cooldowns so that she can have a near permanent arts buff and curse effect and very low cooldown Noble Phantasm seals for abusing certain bosses. Jean and Mosh are similar in that they'll keep Assassin alive forever while she slowly melts enemies with her curse and consistent Noble Phantasms. Her bond craft essence is Getsudin Kyo. It increases the party's arts and quick card effectiveness by 10% while she's on the field. This is a decent bond craft essence since it does boost star generating and NP gain for the party. But if you do plan on using Assassin on a more balanced offensive team, then she's going to need all the damage buffs that she can get. Formal Craft, Fateful Companion, Collide Sapphire, or Another Ending are all excellent for putting her damage on level and boosting your NP gain as well. On stall teams, you're going to want to add as much utility as possible. So craft essences like 2030, Fox Wedding, or Seaside Luxury all work well. Being the designated star generator helps give her a bit more value to the team. In the future, be on the lookout for Sign of a Smiling Face. It buffs NP gain, arts, and NP damage, all of which are relevant to Assassin. Overall, Assassin Pariso isn't a terrible servant. She does have a versatile skill set that includes a strong and rare NP seal that can be abused. Her arts buff helps her damage and NP gain remain consistent. She has a good NP battery, 
and she can fit well into pretty much any arts team, especially stall teams. But as a whole, she does fail to stand out in any significant way due to her lackluster damage, unimpressive stats, lack of a niche, and flat out being overshadowed by many easier to obtain servants. So with all that said, she gets a C from me. And trust me, that sounds a lot worse than it is. I hate that Assassin Pariso is a 4 star servant because she'd honestly make for an above average 3 star. The problem is that compared to all the other 4 star assassins and the top tier 3 star assassins, she doesn't really do anything to distinguish herself and her damage is just too poor. She is usable for sure, but as of now she feels more like a stopgap servant that you would add to the third slot of your arts team until you get someone better. And those are my thoughts on Assassin Pariso. I will say that she is pretty fun to use though and her animations are awesome. I mean, who doesn't love shooting fire snakes at people? But let me know what you think in the comments below. I also have spotlights out for the upcoming servants in Shimosa, Hozoin and Archer Inferno, both linked on screen right now and in the description, so check those out. And if you enjoyed this video, don't forget to leave a like and consider subscribing if you really enjoyed the video. Join the party over our Discord, show us on Twitch, and follow us on Twitter. And I'll see you all in the next Servant Spotlight. So Roni out. Later.